this is Amy with Flower Moxie and today we're going to do a baby's breath cloud. It's a hanging installation. And there's a few things I want you to know about a hanging install before we proceed. So if you're a DIYer, it's not really conducive for the bride or the couple to actually do this because it has to typically be built on site the day of and there's a lot involved as far as hanging it. The actual filling it out is the easiest part, but the hassle is getting a ladder that's tall enough. And the most important thing is you want to talk, if, like if you wanna do this, you've gotta to talk to your venue first. Figure out when you can get in, figure out if they have a ladder, figure out if they would allow a DIYer to do something suspended. If not, an alternative idea is eFavor Mart or Tablecloth Factory, and we'll have it linked below, has like a table arch where it clamps um, to the table and it basically is a pole that goes up and straight over and so that would be more like a suspend, suspended centerpiece and that way it wouldn't involve actually hanging something but to let you know how we did this um, it, it is uneven and I'm not worried about that because it's a baby's breath cloud and by the time we have it filled out you won't be able to notice um, we have an internal board and that's to keep the stability so you never wanna just do a cloud with just chicken wire because it can start to bow in the center and you wanna keep that structure. So we have the board that we wrapped with uh, chicken wire. We use the silver variety because it's more rigid and you can find that at any like tractor supply, Lowe's, Home Depot. And it's a little bit heavier, uh, it's a heavier gauge than the floral netting that you typically see me use. And I zip tied that uh, to the board and I was a little bit haphazard about it and you can see it's not uniformed and that's for a reason because I want this cloud to just be a bit wild and whimsical. I drilled two holes on each end and I strung a fishing line in it. And the fishing line can handle about 20 pounds and that seems to be sufficient, especially if you're just doing baby's breath. So one thing that you should know is you're gonna ask yourself, when can I do this? How early can I get started? I would say that when it comes to a cloud, it's not going to have a water source, so it really needs to be done the day of. Um, you think that baby's breath can live out of water for a day or two, but only if it's really cold. So if you're fortunate enough to want to do this in the winter and you can build this in your garage where it's cold, like maybe the 30s, 40s, you can do this the day, like a day in advance spray it down with crowning glory and that's pretty much the only way you can get away with it but under normal circumstance you just have to build this the day of which is why it's not really conducive for the bride to do this but if you've got some really handy and helpful cousins or aunties or friends who will show up to the venue hang off a ladder and string it up for you then go for it so i'm going to tell you how to do it so i think that i'll probably use about maybe 10 bunches total uh, maybe 10 to 15 and it will take us probably about 20 minutes to do this. So we'll get started. So to start, I'm going a little bit closer in and then once I cover up my mechanics, then I will come back with longer pieces and make it more asymmetrical.
Okay, this took us about 20 minutes, a lot of stuffing of the baby's breath. We could probably work on it longer, but we're a little bit out of time. Uh, we probably ended up using closer to 15 to 20 bunches, and we made this a lot larger than what I had anticipated. I could have brought it down a little bit more and uh, not made it so long, but I like the way it looks. It's about like the length of what a sweetheart table would be. And again, yeah, check with your venue, make sure you have helpers to do this, and we'll see you next time.